I am Evan Bedford. I am a certified grade checker. Being certified means I can read an engineer's rule, set up your transits to level, and do grade checking. I am going to show you the grade checking process. It is done in six steps. Let me show you. Step one, select the benchmark. Here's our benchmark. Step two, determine the points of interest. Here we have three points of interest, point one, point two, and point three. Third, set up transit. Here's our transit to level. Four, determine the height of instrument, take readings, verify height of instrument. When we take our engineer's rule, and we put it up on our bench, we get a reading of 3.45 feet. Then we go to our first point of interest, we get a reading of 11.14 feet. Our second point of interest, we get a reading of 1.2 feet. And our third point of interest, we get a reading of 4.4 feet. Then we go back to verify our benchmark, it's still the same, so we still get a reading of 3.45 feet. Fifth, do the math, calculate, cut, and fill. So on our first point of interest, we got a reading of 11.14 feet and our um, height of instrument is 3.45 feet. So we subtract it and we get a fill of 7.69 feet. And we fill because the rule is if the reading is larger than the height of instrument, you fill. Now to our second point of interest, we have a reading or a height of instrument is 3.45 feet and we subtract it from the reading of 1.20 feet. And we're gonna have to make a cut 2.25 feet because the rule is if the reading is less than the height of instrument we cut. And our third point of interest we have a reading of 4.40 feet and our height of instrument is 3.45 feet. When we subtract we get a fill of 0.95 feet. Six, communicate information. So we communicate by putting on great on uh, stakes or other means. Thank you.